This week's Torah portion, Matot Ma'aseh, teaches us about cities of refuge, places where someone who meant no harm could run to escape lawful vengeance at the hands of a pursuer. We too are seeking refuge right now, refuge in the form of respite from this terrible pandemic that relentlessly pursues more and more of us. We know that we cannot wish it away. No amount of denial will diminish the power of its presence. Nor do we seek to ignore it and the infinite pain it continues to cause. The existence of the cities of refuge do not change the fact that there is danger, heartbreak, and crisis. Rather, its purpose is to provide a place where a victim of circumstance could experience safety and security in an otherwise threatening world. Our houses of worship are not smart places in which to claim sanctuary right now. Our sanctuaries cannot offer sanctuary in this moment, but the Sabbath can. Dr. Abraham Joshua Heschel called the Sabbath a sanctuary in time, an expression of the sacred independent of space. It would be nice to be back in our spaces, to take refuge together in our sanctuaries. Yet Judaism has given us a sanctuary of time and technology has provided us with ways to transcend space. Therefore, until this pandemic ends, may every Shabbat observed in our homes be our sanctuary. May remembrance of the Sabbath renew our capacity for hope, gratitude, and joy, and may our devotion to it and to one another provide us with the refuge we need to face this crisis with caring, commitment, and courage.